All right. So uh, here I'm going to be um, using this software, QCAD, um, which is a free uh, 2D CAD software to draw a model airplane plan. Um, in particular, what I'm going to be doing is tracing a plan that I drew by hand um, of this plane, which is a scale model of the Brown B-2 Miss Los Angeles uh, National Air Racer. Um, so this is, yeah, I like to use this software for um, rubber-powered uh, balsa free flight planes. It's somewhat limited in what it can do um, in terms of, obviously, 3D visualization. Um, doesn't have parameters, which is sort of my one problem with it, but um, otherwise it's, it's pretty good. Um, you get used to the keystrokes. I'll put a, attach a picture. There's, you know, maybe 10 or 20 keystrokes that I use all the time, along with the mouse and scrolling that um, really let you kind of draw almost as if you're drawing on paper, something like that. Um, so that's how the process has been for me. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just import these images. So these are all eight and a half by 11 scans um, of the plan that I drew. I want it to be 16 inch wingspan uh, for competing in the Flying Aces Club uh, dime scale event. So I'm going to make sure that the scaling is correct. Um, I'm going to use this IP here. You can see in the command window info distance. Um, so yeah, 8.46 by 10.95. So maybe it's a little bit trunk down, maybe it's good. Um, so to get in the rest of the pages of this PDF, I'm going to um, file import. And uh, there is a $40 premium version of QCAD. So that uh, this might be a feature that's particular to that. But I know in the original version, you can import uh, JPEG images, that kind of thing, no problem, resize them as you like. Um, so here's my PDF, several pages. Uh, this is the first page I already got in. Here's the second page. Um, and there should be some overlap so that I can get the angles um, of the two pages to be the same and then tile them together. Click OK. And we have that import images uh, option selected. So that's just going to import it as an image of a PDF as opposed to trying to create a, a vector file, which would probably wouldn't turn out so well with this messy scan. There we go, our second page. And I'll just get the rest of them in here. Here's the uh, fuselage top view, and I'm just hitting enter, uh, and it's getting the image right. So Control Shift I, yeah. There's a tail. Their details and there's some compression you can see it's not a totally smooth image but um, should be workable former patterns looks like that's it All right, so I guess we'll get started with um, create a layer for tracing over these. I like to have a construction layer, cyan, which is kind of the convention I use. Um, so all these images are in the zero layer. If I lock it, can't use them anymore, so I can lock the images. 
construction, edit as I choose. So, yeah, so I guess first thing I'll get the fuselage rotated so that I can tile those two together. So I'm gonna, uh, SF makes me snap uh, wherever I point the mouse rather than snapping to a grid. So I'm tracing over an image. Uh, that's a useful, useful thing to do. So I'm just drawing this line along the top Longeron, a uh, pretty long distance so I can get an accurate kind of trace. And I'm gonna have this be my flat line. So I'll take the angle um, of this, lock the zero layer first uh, so I can manipulate that and then rotate this to the horizontal. So LH, horizontal line, two inches long, reference point start, and that's just where you're starting to draw the line. IA tool uh, tells you the angle between two lines. So here we've got this and that. We've got 92.507 whatever degrees. So I'll rotate this 92, or rotate this negative 92.51 uh, with the convention being that clockwise rotation uh, is negative. So MV, move this over, delete. I don't know what this was. So I guess it tried to, uh, it tried to do something here. I'm just gonna delete all these entities because I don't need them. All these little extras here. All right, so I'll select this. Uh, RO, let me rotate, oh. That's the center of rotation, so negative 92.51. Delete original just means we're not uh, gonna have a duplicate there. And sure enough, it looks pretty pretty flat, maybe a little bit off. You can see there's a bit of distortion here, so I'll work with that. Um, let's lock the zero layer again, make a horizontal line, see how it looks. So yeah, not bad, not bad. we can work with that. All right, on to the next. Li gets me a line. This is our line that we're calling flat. And I'll move a little bit down so I'm not on that potentially distorted part of the page. Ninety-two point four two. All right, pretty close. Go hit this. Delete whatever. Entities it's decided to do. Or two. Oops. Oh, I guess we want a positive 92 here, counterclockwise. Right. And oh, it looks like this is a little off. Something happened. So. Get this here, make a horizontal line, and try that again. Probably mismeasured something. Lock the zero layer, it'll show up below. And then we got 4.91 degrees. So take this guy and correct that. Negative 4.91. There we go, looks a little bit better. Uh, uh, yeah, and then I'll just take sort of a datum type of point, um, use the move command, and this is sort of a, a something I do a lot. Um, you take a reference point on one object and connect it to the same reference point on another. So um, I could use this corner at the front of the windshield, although the line's a little bit fuzzy. Um, what else can we do? I want the, the sticks the structure to line up pretty well. So I'm actually going to take an intersection of sticks and you should be able to see as I tile them, it'll get darker or lighter as the tile is more or less accurate. So I've taken that bottom left corner of that intersection at former number four. Move that around until it's nice and dark. Pixels overlapping.
Let's see how that looks. And that's not bad. All right, I think I can work with that. Got a fuselage there. And hopefully, uh, since I was measuring along some of the length, whatever distortion was happening there um, is somewhat reduced across the whole thing. Um, but CAD reveals all, so we'll see. All right, next up, get the wing. I'll have to look into uh, why it has all these weird little things with the PDF. It might be might be better in the end to convert it to a JPEG or something. Um, but I do like that it, it preserves close to the original size with the PDF. Often images are just huge because they scale it by the pixels, something like that. So lock zero. Get a reference line. And let's say the wing spar because we have some taper in the leading and trailing edges. So we're gonna make this guy horizontal. And just getting this as close as, as close as I can. It's not gonna be perfectly symmetric. And when I draw it up, I'll just uh, I'll just use some sort of average of both wings or base it off one, something like that. Line horizontal. 92, there's sort of a trend here, 92 degrees, so 92.4, so 92.41, take this guy, rotate it here, I give it 92.41. On the top of this bar. Ninety-two point six two. All right. Oops. And uh, that's why. So ninety-two point six two, and here we want to do a uh, positive rotation, I believe. Mm. I over rotated that a bit. Let's see what I did there. Point one two. All right, and my reference point I'll take as I'll take it as this corner. Pretty good. All right, so here's where we can check the scaling. I'll make a horizontal line 16 inches in the middle. And I have the center line drawn here, so it should be should be pretty close if the scaling was retained. And yeah, that's that's pretty good. So yeah, I don't think I'll have to rescale this at all. You can see it's just maybe a you know 16th of an inch over um, true 16 inches on the plan, but I'll bet that is just um, I'll bet that's just the inaccuracy of my hand drawing more than anything else. So I've got the wing and the fuselage. Fuselage top. And I'll just go ahead and uh, the tail, I, I don't have to do much right now because I know this is the scaling I want. Uh, so when I get to drawing the tail, I'll probably just rotate. You know, I want the, the rudder spar here to be vertical, stabilizer spar horizontal, uh, rotate these parts, which is sort of annoying, but you know, 
accuracy of 0 0.01 degrees, 0 0.1 degrees uh, should be fine for this plan. And for things like wing incidences, you know, angles that you want to be precise with, you can just set that after the fact in CAD, even if it uh, slightly contradicts the plan, you know, it's, it's not really a problem. Um, same thing goes for, you know, fuselage length in the uh, projected top view as compared to the drawn view. Um, generally in plans, you know, it's always going to be a little bit shorter on the top than this side view um, because of the curvature. But usually it's small enough, you know, less than less than a quarter inch, eighth of an inch that I don't account for that. Um, and with the drawn plan imported and, and tiling, there might be some other discrepancies, too. So, you know, just kind of split the difference um, however you want to do that. You'll just take the, the center line and, you know, draw it up here. So, the first time I came to the search, I had a 